Hey guys, this is Ayush and from today we are going to start the Kubernetes series. So this is the very first video of our Kubernetes series. So today in this particular video, we will be discussing about the introduction part of the Kubernetes. Like we will be discussing some of the things like what is Kubernetes, why it is used and some like from where it has came, like all the things we are going to cover in this particular video. So let's start the video. So basically here you can see the title which I have is introduction to Kubernetes. So actually I have already written some of the points for you to understand it better. So if you will uh, go down and here you will see the, some of the points I have already mentioned here like uh, Kubernetes is nothing but the open source container management or the orchestration tool. So we will discuss it what is this container management later on this video. And it is also developed by the Google, like uh, the company which everyone knows, uh, Google, and uh, it's written in the language called the Golang. So it is uh, one of the language which we, which is used or which has been used to create this uh, particular thing that Kubernetes, the tool. And also it is used to manage the containerized application. So if you are watching this video, so it like uh, you might be aware of the containers what are the containers what is docker how containers is made everything uh, like it like i suppose you know it if also you don't know like we will cover it in the in this video okay and also it is referred as the k8 so why why it is referred at k8 so this is a thing like uh, you will see between k and s there are the eight uh, letters so if you will count that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 letters between K and S. So that is the reason behind it. Kubernetes is referred as K8. So this is one of the reason. So this is the basic overview about the Kubernetes. Okay. So uh, let's move forward and we will be discussing about the what is this container management and the orchestration tool okay so actually uh, uh, kubernetes is also one of the container management and the orchestration tool so it is also one kind of tool which is used to manage the containerized application like what what it will man it will basically it will uh, uh, that deploying that container scaling managing and all those things it's done by these kind of tools like the kubernetes so like in market we have also some of the many different tools we have like we have kubernetes as well we have docker swarm we have apache we have uh, open shift as well so there are many tools there in market but kubernetes is one of the very like famous tool which you can say like in like by the way it's uh, developed by the google that's why it's a very uh fascinating product okay in this devops industry so the point here is the whatever the container is created by the developer so to manage those containers or those images we require the kubernetes okay so this is the reason behind whole thing like why it came in role so the answer is simple it came in role to manage the containerized applications later we will see like what is the whole like how it manages what what are the concepts uh, which is required uh, everything we will cover in this particular video Okay, so uh, let's move forward. If you will go, I have prepared one chart. Here you will see what Kubernetes is. So Kubernetes is nothing but the container management tool. And what container management tool does? It manages the containerized application and containerized application where it is available. Like the whatever the application which is uh, available on platform like the Docker. Like on the Docker, what happens? Many uh, platforms, uh, uh, sorry, many containers are available there, or the images we say Docker images are present there. So from there, uh, you can access that image and use it in your machine. So if you don't know the concept of the Docker, so let me tell you first about it, what a uh, Docker is simply. So what happens whenever a developer, suppose uh, this is a project, okay, a developer is there who creates a project in uh, Python version 2.3, uh, okay, 
and this project is on machine sorry this project is on machine A and now developer wants to share his project to some other team members or suppose some other team like a testing team now the project is going into the testing so at that time uh, in the testing machine uh, in the testing team uh, their computer is B and their Python version is uh, 2.9 and here the project comes so in this what will happen in this uh, the project will not run because the project is made on the version of 2.3 so it might be case like some dependencies may be deprecated in the version of 2.9 so it might case like the project will not work on the testers machine that's why docker came in role to solve the problem like the a quote which uh, you might have listened like uh, this code works on my machine but it doesn't work on your machine so basically to solve this problem like code works on my machine but not on your that's why the docker came in the role i hope you got it the point what i'm trying to tell you here so project 2.3a and 2.9b is there okay so what will happen if we create one thing like the docker suppose uh, i just uh, create one uh, this is suppose one docker is uh, docker container i have created like the developer created and in that uh, the version is same 2.3 and what will happen the second uh, team member the B he will also access the same container and he will also uh, like use the same container okay so in that case both of the team member is using the project with the same configuration so basically what happens whenever a container is created so in that case similarly the thing what happens is it basically so whatever whoever is the developer what is does it just uh, what we say uh, add all the dependencies okay dependencies you can so uh, you can tell or you can say all the source codes whatever the required data or required libraries okay whatever the libraries is required to run the project everything everything will be present in that docker container so if someone else will run that container or will run that docker image so obviously it will run because it has all the configuration already installed to run it okay i hope this point is clear to you about the docker what is a docker okay so now let's uh, let me tell you about the containers like uh, not containers about the kubernetes like how how it helps uh, the kubernetes so what happens the case like normally uh, when you will be learning so you will simply create uh, only one container or two containers max to max but what happens in the real time basis the thing is what happens we we create different number of containers okay if you i want to go down and here is one container okay and here is another container and here is another container here is another container suppose i have so many containers for a single project okay so let me just create one more like this okay it's fine suppose this is the project which have like project okay i have one project here or one application you can instead of project it's better to call it application one application is there and i have so many containers here like these are the containers which you can think of okay so these containers are already there and what kubernetes will do kubernetes will like uh, it will help in deploying all these containers so scheduling scaling these containers locally or, uh, or local on locally or it can be on cloud okay basically we uh, not we scale in cloud not locally sorry for that so kubernetes what kubernetes will do it will basically do deployment of these containers it will schedule and it will scaling 
like help in scaling everything like uh, required like monitoring is also there okay so Kuban, what kubernetes will do kubernetes will key, take care of all those things of a container okay of these number of containers so like later in the videos we will learn about uh, pods pods are one of the thing which is important to know so pods is nothing but uh, in a one pod we have with so many containers one is storage volume we have so like we will discuss these things uh, later uh, uh, like in the upcoming videos so what is the pods and what are the other concept so here the main concept of the kubernetes is to maintain the deployment of the containers and uh, how we can scale these so basically to manage the containerized application that is a simple concept of kubernetes okay so in this case suppose we we i have already told you like so many containers if you have so we what we will do we will basically with the help of kubernetes what will happen so if i i uh, take this image of kubernetes and if i just put it in middle of that oh, sorry So if I just put it here in that, so and these are the some containers. So if what will what it just shows? So it shows us the all those thing management of the containerized application. If you go upon the chart here, so here you can see manages containerized application. So how it manages? So with help uh, like like this it manages like in the uh, in deploying, scheduling, scaling and also load balancing is also one of the important thing uh, like load balancing is also the Kubernetes also used to manage the loads between the containers and uh, all those things okay so this is the overview of the introduction to Kubernetes I hope you liked it and I hope you have uh, like uh, cleared the concept of Kubernetes and as well as the Docker so today we will stop here and thank you for watching and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you so much.